On today's Food for Thought ses session, we're going to talk about loneliness and a problem behavior and autism. Um, so let's think about this for a second. Is problem behavior really an autism issue? Or is, uh, is problem behavior related to direct relationship to loneliness? Um, it, there's a lot of research coming out about this. And as an autistic person, I can tell you my problem behavior is not from being autistic. Like autism serves me um, well in some areas of my life. And it serves me not so well in other areas of my life. But one of the things that it does cause me is to be lonely because I don't know how to develop social relationships. Um, and that is when we see problem behavior. So my question to you is, do behavior interventions target problem behavior or do they target loneliness? Um, and how do we write behavioral strategies that target loneliness? Well, we write proactive social goals and we focus on the proactive social goal instead of the problem behavior. Now, obviously, there are some instances where we want to focus on the problem behavior if the person is self-harming. We have to be reactive to that. Um, but as far as overall, I would like to see us really focus on the proactive social goal to address the issue of loneliness. Um, another great way of explaining this is we provide coverage to people with developmental disabilities all the time. With coverage, coverage, coverage. Do we have someone to cover? Do we have someone to cover a shift? Do we have someone to cover this shift? Do we have someone to cover that shift? We provide coverage to people with developmental disabilities, but we don't help them with relationships. Um, we don't develop relationships with them. We don't um, help them develop relationships with their peers. And we're not, we're not, we're providing coverage. And we, we think that's great. Um, and sometimes we're in the, now in today's society, we have a hard time even providing coverage, right? Because we can't get staffing. Um, and so we're, we're, we're struggling with people with disabilities here and people with disabilities are getting lonely and lonelier and lonelier. And it's even worse since the pandemic. Um, and so, you know, we really have to start looking into the concept of loneliness and how does your, pre how does your behavior intervention address loneliness for a person with a developmental disability? Um, and that's going to be key moving forward to help people with developmental disabilities live their best lives. Um, we want friends, we want relationships, we want quality of life for people with developmental disabilities. Um, and so that's just a little bit of a little brief introduction to a video I'm doing later this week about loneliness and autism. And so I hope you'll think outside the box with me and realize that we have to start addressing loneliness issues um, with proactive social behavior strategies. Um, and we need to make sure that we, we can write proactive social goals that are medically necessary. And we need to have the stakeholder or the insurance company at the table in writing medical necessity goals. So, you know, insurance companies want us to eliminate symptoms of autism. So they really want us to eliminate problem behavior. I think we have the wrong idea about how to eliminate problem behavior. Um, so let's start going after targeting, let's target loneliness instead of the problem behavior. And we'll see the problem behavior disappear. So thank you for watching and have a great day.